So you get the picture? The creatures like Lucy have the ape orientation of the iliac blades. Now what are the evolutionists going to do about that? You're not going to believe this. Nova, have you heard Nova? They, there was a PBS Nova series in which Dr. Owen Lovejoy, a very distinguished, famous paleoanthropologist, was involved. And he's looking at Lucy's skeleton here, and he's lamenting the fact that the hips are all wrong. They're supposed to be human-like hips, so you can walk the way the Latoli footprints showed she walked. But they don't look like human hips, they look like ape hips. What to do about this? Watch it. You'll get a big kick out of this. The ape that stood up, it was a revolutionary idea. We needed Owen Lovejoy's expertise again, because the evidence wasn't quite adding up. The knee looked human, but the shape of her hip didn't. Superficially, her hip resembled a chimpanzee's, which meant that Lucy couldn't possibly have walked like a modern human. But Lovejoy noticed something odd about the way the bones had been fossilized. When I put the two parts of the pelvis together that we had, this part of the pelvis has pressed so hard and so completely into this one that it caused it to be broken into a series of individual pieces which were then fused together in later fossils. So you see they were uh, broken and they don't fit together properly. Uh, they did speculate in the program as to exactly who was responsible for breaking the hip. And uh, current scientific evidence suggests perhaps a deer stepped on it. Here you can see a deer foot stepping uh, on the bone. Isn't that a bummer? Uh, let's uh, see where it goes from here. Uh, this has caused the two bones, in fact, to fit together so well so that well. they're in an anatomically impossible position. <laughs> the perfect fit was an illusion that made Lucy's hip bones seem to flare out like a chimp's. But all was not lost. <laughs> this is a power saw, friends. <laughs> you may want to put your goggles on. Lovejoy decided he could restore the pelvis to its natural shape. He didn't want to tamper with the original, so he made a copy in plaster. Notice he's removing whole parts, not just cutting. He cut the damaged pieces out and put them back together the way they were before Lucy died. <laughs> it was a tricky job, but after taking the kink out of the pelvis, it all fit together perfectly, like a three-dimensional jigsaw puzzle. Look how perfect! You can read a newspaper through the hole. As a result, the angle of the hip looks nothing like a chimp's, but a lot like ours. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, now, this is what we call science. You can teach this in the public schools, but you can't criticize it, because if you do, uh, that would be religious. So, um, <clears throat> well, I think perhaps the best way to uh,